What's up everybody, Gibson's Lawn Service checking back in with another. Out here headed out on this uh, beautiful Sunday morning. Looks like it actually wanna rain. But I was sitting here uh, thinking about something. I seen this guy at the gas station. I don't I don't know him, but he had a uh he had a nice truck and trailer set up, you know. And uh, I, I told him, I say, man, I said, man, you got a nice truck, man, you know, and like your equipment set up. <laughs> and he uh <laughs> You have people that like he try to kind of like I guess brush me off or whatever, which which is fine, you know, because he probably was going through something that morning or whatever. But uh, it's like people feel as though when you're in business, you got to be in competition with everybody, and you don't have to really be in competition with everybody because there's enough to go around for everybody. Like you, you might cater to a certain market and the other guy might cater to a certain market. There's no need for you two to be at odds or you two to feel y'all have to compete with one another. Cause one person can, cause really y'all can kind of refer work to one another and everybody can win. Like it's this guy I linked up with uh, earlier in the year. Uh, he's to the point, he's not taking on any new customers. He don't want any extra work. The properties he maintained and what he has, he's fine with it and he's content with it. Now, by me linking up with him and meeting him, all of the new work he has coming in, he refers it right to me. And which is good, you know what I mean? Because when I met him, I was cutting in the same, we was cutting in the same neighborhood. We was cutting, the, the, he was cutting one house, I was cutting another house. We was right next door to one another. And I spoke, hey, sir, how you doing, blah, blah, blah. He said, hey, man, how you doing, man? I like your trailer. And we just got to talking from there, you know? And like I say, we exchanged numbers. We linked up. And man, every time I've picked up so much work off this guy, uh, we still talk to this day, you know? And and that's what I do if I see people up and coming up and I feel like I can help them, I refer them work. Cause like he may get to a point, like he, 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 where he's at is he don't want any more work. He's fine, he got, his, he got a good route got a good customer selection he's content me i'm still trying to grow my business but it's certain work that i don't want to do and i can refer that to the next man and like i say man if everybody was like come together everybody could eat everybody could make money everybody can be prosperous you know what i'm saying but but at the same time you have to have that mentality where i really don't need help i'm gonna get out here and get it any way possible you know but like I say, it's not always bad to have uh, help or link up with a bigger size company. You know, like I was talking to this one guy, he's a landscaper. And, and in my area where I'm at, you have some landscapers that don't do projects under $2,000 because they have grew their company. They have grew their company to that size where anything under $2,000 is not, it's not really profitable for them because they got workers and you know, they have, the overhead is a little high. So anything under $2,000 is not really worth it for them. But you might have a small guy, one, two man crew, $2,000 job in a day, a day and a half is, is very profitable for him. But like I say, the big company, nah, they, they trying to rake in 10 grand within three, four days. That little 2,000 ain't hitting no nothing. But like I say, the big company can, can refer that small job to the small man. And the small man, when he ran into a huge job he know he can't handle, he can refer it to them. So it's kind of like, you know, everybody can win in those types of situations instead of everybody trying to compete or be at odds or whatever. Me, I'm, I'm going to help you any way I can. But like I say, I'm up on the grind and come up myself, so there's really not much I can really kind of help you with because everything I'm getting, I'm trying to keep. You know, unless it's just out of my route or it's too far away, if it's something I want to do, then I refer that to the to the next man, you know, because then he might get to a point where, man, I don't want to do this no more. I refer it to somebody else, you know, like, uh, like I say, man, it's just, this is something that was on my mind, man, and actually headed out. But man, y'all stay on the grind. I'm always still on the grind. I'll catch y'all on the next.